Exim Rwanda $800 million energy deal on course. Energy is the driving force behind the economies of all industrialized, emerging, and poor countries in the 21st century. These energies could include electrical, renewable, fossil fuel, and a variety of others. However, electrical energy is the most well-known and frequently used type of energy. Every country is making effort to not rely on any other country for its energy supplies. Because of this, many countries either build new energy infrastructure or upgrade old infrastructure, or they enter into energy partnerships with other countries. The rural electrification initiatives were developed by Zimbabwe and Rwanda to help with energy supply and to better the lives of their population. In regard to the rural electrification program, Zimbabwe and Rwanda have made tremendous advancements. The rural electrification program in Zimbabwe and Rwanda has advanced significantly, and the project's 800 million US dollars implementation plans are practically finished. Stay with Africa Reloaded to learn more about this initiative and other African ventures. As always, a like on this video would be much appreciated. Also remember to subscribe as you are watching. In order to better the lives of those who live in the country, President Mangagwa stated last year that Rwanda had committed to assist Zimbabwe in funding the rural electrification program. This is a significant step toward establishing an upper-middle-income country by 2030 and is also consistent with the government's mission of leaving no one and no place behind. According to ZESA Holdings Executive Chairman Dr. Sidney Gada, the multi-million dollar initiative consists of nine separate projects, ranging from customer services to generation, transmission, and distribution. Dr. Gava declared that the program is well on course. ZDSL has never undertaken a project of this scope before. We are aiming to have completed the procedures for carrying out this enormous undertaking by the end of this month. According to researchers, the 800 million US dollars program will assist Zimbabwe reduce its energy access gap because the bulk of its population lives in rural areas without electricity and some are located distant from the grid network. According to Mr. Enoch Ruser, a lecturer of development studies at a nearby private university, energy access is a precondition for whatever development you think of and lighting up rural areas will definitely speed development and economic activities in such places. Additionally, this intervention will put Zimbabwe on track to meet Sustainable Development Goals SDG No. 7. By 2030, all classes of residents should have access to reasonably priced, dependable, sustainable, and contemporary energy, according to Sustainable Development Goal No. 7. For many of the sustainable development goals to be achieved, from poverty reduction through improvements in health, education, water supply, and industrialization to mitigating climate change, access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable energy is essential. According to the United Nations Energy Progress Report 2022, Africa is now the continent with the lowest power coverage, with close to 600 million people still living without access. By 2030, Sub-Saharan Africa will require annual investments of at least 31 billion US dollars to electrify everyone. Carlos Tadia, a Herrera-based expert, predicted that the rural electrification scheme will lead to a more inclusive economy in which residents of rural areas would take part. The electrification of those locations can help address the abundance of untapped economic potential, according to Mr. Tadia, who stated in an interview To relieve pressure on the already stressed national grid, the nation has already begun investing in off-grid electricity generating. Due to the enormous demand, which is primarily the result of rising urbanization and increased activity in industries like mining, more people would have access to electricity thanks to off-grid solutions. Up to this point, 430 solar mini-grid systems have been constructed at remote rural schools and clinics around the nation. 10,009 rural institutions have been powered nationwide using grid and solar technology. To speed up the electrification and off-grid solutions for rural populations, 
The Rural Electrification Fund will channel $183 billion this year, plus an additional $1 billion from the Fiscus. As a catalyst for achieving Vision 2030, this initiative will also support Education 5.0 in rural schools by giving recipients chances to innovate and industrialize. This energy deal between these two nations will greatly increase the supply of electricity, improve the economy, improve standard of living for not only Zimbabwe, but also for Rwanda. By the way, tell us in the comments section about the supply of electricity in your country. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded. Remember to turn on the notification icon to get notified of newly released videos.